All right, y'all. So thank you, Pastor Chris, for that song that brought us in. I bind it all in Jesus' name, okay? Um, do you be tired out here? I ain't lying. Like for my people that are out here for real about this kingdom business, amen, and you're out here um, serving God wholeheartedly. I know they say you ain't supposed to get tired, but you do because we're all human. Um, you know, even Jesus, when he was in his fleshly being, he was like, Lord, remove this cup from me. Jesus, can you please remove it? But you know what? His purpose was fulfilled and he pushed through and he was courageous. And we're going to talk about that today on the gospel tea. I'm going to finish you out. We're going to go with some word. That's the greatest tea you could ever get from your girl. All right. It's your girl, Bishop Becky here at the Kingdom Turnup. So we're going to jump right into it. Y'all, so much has been going on um, just in our nation um, and just really in our everyday lives. So we're going to... Um, talk about some miracles it's that time of season um lord i don't know how many y'all out there praying hoping and wishing and praying for a miracle but it is coming your way i'm believing it for you and i'm believing it for myself but let me tell you about there was a baby in a family um in the news on last week that um was in a car accident the car ejected this baby 25 feet away from the car, okay? And they were out there looking for the baby. They just knew for a fact because um, how the accident happened and the impact that it had that that baby was gone. Um, but y'all, we serve a mighty God because they found the baby in a, a, a drainage system, smiling, happy, full of joy. So y'all, I'm here to tell you God is still in the blessing business. Amen. That baby is happy. Um, this happened in, um, Texarkana, Arkansas. Um, so, um, sometimes you have to hear somebody's testimony to know that it's possible and that God is more than able to do the same thing in your life. Okay. Um, another thing, shout out in gospel music news time. I don't want to say your name wrong, brother. Is Todd Galberth. I think that's right. If I'm incorrect, Saints, you know how to hit me up and get me right on together because people will put it in, you know, in the chat box. But um, he has a new single that has been at the number one uh, number one spot for digital downloads on the Billboard chart. So shout out to him. And the name of that single um, is Lord You're Good. The intro on that single is so powerful because he was talking about, you know, have, have you ever been like, you know, God has taken you five steps forward, but then you get knocked 10 steps back and you like, Lord, I don't know what's going on. But even in that, he's encouraging you all to know and believe that God is still good. And we do know that God is still faithful no matter where we are. Um, For my, my choir folk, you know what? You know, we got caught up in this whole, you know, praise and worship and praise teams. But I feel in my spirit, I had uh, Pastor Jay, shout out to Jason Meacham. Um, I had him on, on the show some months ago, and we were talking about how choir is about to make a comeback. I believe if you choir folks is out there, the choirs do need to make a comeback. Thank you, Jesus, for the choirs. But they are making a comeback because the uh, not about to say the Mississippi Mass. They must be talking about me, the Mississippi Mass Choir. Thank you. But no, the Miami Mass Choir is actually um, recording their live album December the 9th. If you're in the Miami area, you, you want to check that out and you you know stupid saints you like the church choir sound go down there and check them out and they will be at the lord let me get it right so um they're the adrian center on december the 9th they have some awesome featured artists their artists are going to be houston's own Drum roll, please. Zacardi Cortez is actually going to be featured on their album. Betty Wright going to be down there. You know, we got Beverly Crawford. So if you are in the Miami area on December the 9th, you all want to check them out. Okay? Now, we about to get into this good Bible tea. Okay? This good biblical tea. Um, because I think we spent a lot of time talking about, in my dad, in my father's words we spend a lot of time talking about foolishness but we should spend more time talking about kingdom business amen are you work walk with me okay so um this week i do want to encourage you all to um to stay focused and to understand that um just like we're in the christmas season all the things in place and spaces in our lives are seasons okay um, and so there's a season, like the scripture says, and that's Ecclesiastes 3. You need to read the whole chapter, one chapter, 1 through 22. Read that on your spare time. Read, go through that. How it talks about the different seasons that you go through. A season to mourn, a season to be uh, a joyful, to be happy, the season to build, a season to plug down, to sow, to reap. So in your season, um, I do encourage you, 
while you feel like you may be in a down season, I encourage you to fill yourself with the word of God because the word of God is really going is what's going to uplift your spirit in in that down season. Um, and also, I do want to um, encourage you in this effort of dealing with Christian people. Um, I've been running into a lot of this uh Sometimes I think as Christians, we put uh, these godly expectations on Christian people. Follow me what I'm saying here. Um, have you ever gone to a church and, you know, somebody at the church was rude to you? And they was like, you know, they was rude to you. And you was like, this is church. Church folk shouldn't act like this. <clears throat> this is where we make the mistake, Okay. We are all as Christians working out our soul salvation. So we all ain't got there yet. Okay. And I don't care just because somebody been in the church for 20 and 30 and 40 years don't mean that they worked out their soul salvation. Clearly God still got them here. Right. So, you know, give people a little leeway. You know what I'm saying? Like charge it like the old people say, charge it to their mind and not their heart. And you keep going after what God is talking about. Um, and, uh, and this is a quote that I, I, I personally have to live by. And I had to um, I kind of came up with it after just watching and witnessing people just in this Christian life and in this walk and just living. Um, we got to stop putting lifetime expectations on seasonal people. Okay. OK, what that means is there are some people that come into your life for a season and a reason and a purpose. And once their purpose has been fulfilled, they can't stay no longer. So don't be mad, you know, when people walk away from you, when people make their exit, when people make their exit, it's OK, because in them exiting, that is leaving room for what God is trying to do in your life. So. Mark my words, you know what I'm saying? Let's not put lifetime expectation on seasonal people. You know what I'm saying? Ask God to give you that good wisdom so you can identify what is seasonal and what is a lifetime, okay? That's uh, going to be around for a lifetime. Now, um, I'm going to leave you with this, this particular scripture um, for those people who are, um, are waiting on their promise. This morning, I woke up and God was really... Uh, just dealing with, with your girl. It was like, look, Rebecca, just calm down. I have all things under control. And so I did want to share this with you all this week. If you are somewhere and you're serving um, in the kingdom and you're doing your kingdom work and you're doing your kingdom service and you like, man, you know, Jesus, what is really going on? Why is it not? I guess working for me It's working for other people, but it ain't working for me. And um, the truth of the matter is it is working. It is working. All the work, the works that you're doing right now is preparation for what God is calling you to. So um, the scripture that God uh, God gave me this morning was Psalms 27 and 14. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So I encourage you this week um, to wait on God. I know you feel like ain't nothing moving. And so you out here trying to move stuff in your power. But I encourage you. And I'm preaching to myself. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Um, I'm talking to myself here that wait, I say on the Lord. Because you know what? Sometimes we'll try to conjure up some stuff. And the stuff we conjure up is minute to what God is trying to do in and through you and in your life and how he's going to use you in this next season. So it's Christmas season. I know everybody trying to get these gifts and spend all your energy and your funding on trying to impress people, people that don't really care in actuality. How about you spend your time this season and impress God? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's impress God. Let's impress God with our service. Let's impress God with more than what we say with our mouths, but with our actions and in giving and sowing into the lives of other people. So I encourage you. We're going to get ready for our interviews. Y'all, we have an awesome set of lineup today uh, of interviews. We have um, a style by B will be with us. Um, Tanisha Dion is going to... Um, slide through here um and then we also have custom wig express nicole fruge is gonna be in the building honey so y'all want to stay tuned and stay locked with us we got some more good gospel music some more awesome things coming up i love y'all and i hope you i hope this was helpful to you today you know because god be weighing stuff on my chest and i feel so much better when i get it off my chest because i was obedient shout out to the obedience god 
is faithful to those that are obedient. So I pray that this uh, inspiration, this tea, and about that baby being an absolute miracle has encouraged you and uplifted you for today. So y'all stay with us, stay tuned, stay locked, and get ready for some more good gospel music. See y'all soon.